Kuna talking to Nakul Dugal, VP Automotive Product Management at Qualcomm. Nakul, can you tell us a little bit about Qualcomm CES announcements and what you have on the booth here? Yeah, it's been a very exciting show for us. Uh, you know, we are seeing that uh, the pace at which the mobile ecosystem is moving and uh, what consumers are looking for in their new cars, that convergence is starting to happen. We have introduced many, many new products, so uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, what the announcements have been about. We have uh, we completed the CSR acquisition uh, about six months ago, so now we have a very complete portfolio of automotive products, uh, ranging from uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi Bluetooth combos, uh, location services products, or GNSS products, the software that goes along with the GNSS for uh, dead reckoning. We have uh, introduced and we are showcasing at the booth today uh, the uh, infotainment uh, platforms that CSR brought along with them. Uh, and then on the Qualcomm side, we've obviously had a very broad portfolio of uh, modem products as well as Snapdragon. Uh, we announced a partnership with Audi. So we've been working with Audi for a few years. Uh, we've obviously had a long-standing partnership with them on the modem business. We expanded that over to Snapdragon. So uh, at our main booth, uh, we are actually demonstrating a Q7, which has the 602A. And Audi selected us for uh, the performance. It's a, high-end, very high-performance uh, SOC. Uh, the third uh, main announcement that we are making is the S820A, which is our latest generation uh, Snapdragon uh, automotive processor. Now this is actually everything in the kitchen sink. So we have, uh, just in terms of capabilities, and we are showing them in the car that you see right here, not only do we support standard applications like uh, instrument clusters, like the uh, infotainment screen, but we support intelligent rear view camera, we support surround view, we're supporting rear view screens, we have machine intelligence built in into the SOC itself. It has an integrated modem that can support up to 600 megabits per second in downlink uh, data rate. So it really truly is a very versatile platform, something that a lot of automakers have shown significant interest in. The demonstrations that we have have a very rich display, 4K display for the infotainment screens, the cluster is very high end, a lot of software interaction. We've gotten very good feedback on the voice recognition demonstrations, especially with the noise reduction capabilities that we run in our uh, SOC. So all in all, I think it's just been very, very exciting. And then at the booth, we are showcasing a lot of partners and also a lot of new features. So like I mentioned earlier, we're showing a number of CSR products, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the Atlas 7, but we have uh, machine vision and computer vision capabilities. So we are showing that with Noisoft, with Nauto, uh, with QNX, we are showing uh, QNX running on the 820. We've also introduced a new analytics product line uh, for automotive. So you know, given that we can capture so much of data from our uh, platforms, we are actually able to uh, condense that data and actually put that data up on a server. So we have uh, a number of visualization graphics, a lot of interest from automakers in terms of being able to get access to the data. So uh, finally we have a Halo, which is the Qualcomm wireless uh, electric vehicle charging initiative. They're also on demonstration here at this point. So. Well, it seems like the CSR acquisition has really rounded out your portfolio and your reach is now across all aspects of car automotive electronics. That's true, yeah. So the CSR acquisition has actually been very interesting because, uh, uh, first of all, it was very complementary in nature. CSR has been a leader in uh, Bluetooth for many, many years across uh, many spaces. Uh, they brought with them a very strong heritage of audio uh, and rich audio uh, features. So that I think is a big lift. We've obviously been doing telematics for a long time. CSR has also had a lot of strength in GNSS, in location, and the software that goes along with it. So that is very complementary, and I think just putting the portfolio together and bringing them all under one umbrella, I think we've had interesting conversations with a number of automakers around how the portfolio now essentially addresses all the way from the entry tier to the premium tier, which I think was the idea, so extremely compelling.